Hey, hello everybody. I just picked up the EWC from Monterey Bay Knives. They released it on Tuesday and it is in my hands two days later. So I purchased this from their website and uh, it came in this really nice zipper pouch. So nice little pouch here has two different pockets inside and it's felt lined. You can see there are some belt loops on the rear so I guess you could carry this a number of different ways. Um, but it's just nice to have this included when you buy a brand new knife. It also came with this uh, little soft cloth as well with the Monterey Bay Knives logo on it. So this is a really nice little non-locking blade. It has a beautiful carbon fiber handle, so we'll get a closer look at that in just a minute. Um, but it's a really neat action and I wanted to share it with everybody. But I wanted to compare it to some other knives as well. So let me pull out a couple of knives so you can get an idea of the size because the blade of this knife is three inches long, so it is a small knife. Uh, so one of the knives I want to compare it to is the Kershaw Blur, which it looks almost tiny compared to it. So we have the Kershaw Blur and another designed by Ray Laconico. This is the Keen, and that one was a Mass Drop collaboration, and we'll see a little bit more of that in a bit. Um, but again, very small everyday carry knife called the EWC because it's everywhere carry because it's non-locking. So kind of a cool idea there. But let's check out the weight of this knife. Okay, let's get it on the scale. I think we are going to be, it's advertised as 2.1 ounces. And it's at, yeah, pretty much right there, 2.09 on my scale. So very lightweight knife. It feels very uh, lightweight in the hand, very small size. Um, but the blade itself is three inches, so that's a pretty good size for, for what you get here. So let's take a closer look at the handle and at the blade and see what we got in this knife, the Ray Laconico design, the EWC. Wow, take a close up look at that carbon fiber. Super gorgeous. They did a really good job. And I will mention this knife is made in China. Uh, Monterey Bay Knives has done a couple of collaborations with Ray Laconico. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, but they've done a number of collaborations with him, bringing his designs at a lower price point. And uh, in order to do that, of course, they're using Chinese factories to do so. They didn't name which factory in particular produced this knife, but the quality is pretty good on this one. You can see that flipping action. It looks like a front flipper, but I think it actually handles a little bit better as a regular flipping knife. So even though it doesn't lock, the blade stays open, doesn't flop around very minimalistic it just has that little logo on the side of the blade and with one finger action you can get that blade right back in the handle so really actually kind of cool very impressive and uh, watching the Instagram videos of this knife being opened and closed are kind of what sold it to me so it has a pocket clip uh, one side carry only right side tip down has his name on the back, has a little bit of jimping on one side of the blade, but not on the side you would think, it's just where the flipper is. And that jimping really helps your finger get a good purchase on it. But man, that blade shape is gorgeous, and they put a nice satin finish on it. This is M390 steel, so you're getting a nice super steel on this blade too. But at this point, I don't have too many negatives to say about this knife. You know, you could use it as a front flipper. To me, that's a little more awkward, though, because it works so well as a regular, you know, finger flipper. But it works both both ways, and the blade doesn't flop out. It, it locks in pretty well, and it's not a locking knife, but they have a really nice little detent in there that keeps it in an open position. So super smooth carbon fiber there. Just really nice, really nice. So I'm definitely glad to have picked this one up. So definitely a mix between your general gentleman's folder and a modern design here. But hopefully legal in a lot more places where you can carry this because it is a non-locking blade. So super cool. But I wanted to show you a comparison, um, not only with the knife itself, but just with the packaging. It's very similar to this uh, Keen from Ray Laconico as well. 
This one was made by Mass Drop. And um, right down to the little yellow cloth, uh, they both came with very similar um, accessories. So we have the yellow cloth. The Mass Drop one just has the name on it, whereas the Monterey Bay Knives one has the logo of their shop. Uh, they both have a very similar zipper pouch. It's not identical, but the fact that they both came shipped in the same way, I'm kind of wondering if these were made at the same factory. Just wanted to make this a quick video, so tell me in the comments below, guys, if you have any questions. What do you think about Ray Laconico and his designs? I think they're really nice, but go ahead, feel free to leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.